Um, PC gamers are basically the uh, the boomers, right, of the of the gaming community. Like they're so convinced, right, that their way is better. Like they're better than you, and they're just not. Like when you get right down to it, um, they're just a bunch of nerds. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I own a gaming PC, and I can tell you, uh, consoles are superior. There's, there's no getting around it. Um, I am not playing my gaming PC uh, because it simply isn't as good as my Nintendo console. Well, what's up guys? I hope you all are having a great day today. It just really breaks my heart to have to make this video for what a second time now because I have some really unfortunate news, dude. PC gaming didn't just die. It was murder. My leg. My arm. Even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make him give back our past. But yeah, man, I'm just really sorry I have to be the one to break the news to you guys, but you know, it just needed to be said. PC gaming is done, it is dead, and it didn't just die, it was actually murdered. And the Nintendo Switch is the one holding the gun. I mean, there's nothing else I can really say about it. Like, it just really pains me to have to break this news to you guys. Like, even with the 30 series cards about to release, it just wasn't enough, man. The age of PC gaming is over. Now, this guy by the name of Harmon Smith has made a video on this topic before. I covered it, I joked around, but the the reality is here. You know, the walls are closing in. I've realized the error in my ways. This dude was right all along. So I figured I at least owed it to you guys to set the record straight and watch this video with you because in this man's own words, okay, he is an expert on all things PC gaming because, you know, this dude literally says that he has a very expensive PC. He can run all the most graphically demanding games on Steam. I mean, when you hear something like that, you really just cannot argue with this man's credibility whatsoever. And I mean, if you don't believe me, listen to him say it himself. Uh, please understand that, like, you know, I have a high-end PC, I can play everything, you know, I was running the most technical, demanding games on on Steam with no problems, I was messing around with it, I, I spent several days experiencing it, uh, picking up games for my wishlist, you know, things like that. But as you heard, this dude is undeniably an expert in all things PC gaming, and well, the title of the video we're going to be watching here is PC Gaming is Inferior to Nintendo Switch, and well, after previously watching this video, I just have to agree with that statement, man, and I think by the end of this video, you'll 100% agree as well, but anyway, guys, I think we just need to come to terms with the new reality we're forced to live in, and we just need to go ahead and start this video, so without further ado, guys, let's find out how the Nintendo Switch has made PC gaming irrelevant. Hey, irrelevant. Irrelevant. It's not as good as console gaming. Like, it, it, it just isn't. Um, really, uh, when you get right down to it, um, of course, I got a very expensive PC. That's very, very powerful. Of course, I got a very expensive PC. That's very, very powerful. <laughs> I mean, I really just love how, like, every single console fanboy that tries to make this claim goes like, Oh yeah, I've had a capable PC, I've tried out PC gaming, I spent a lot of money on my PC, it's just not as good, dude. I've tried all the most graphically demanding games and everything. When these motherfuckers, one, talk about how much they spent on it, but they'll never name an actual number. They'll never talk about the actual specs, and chances are they probably bought some shitty, like, gaming laptop or whatever for, like, $1,200 at most. So I just think it's really funny, like, these motherfuckers always did the same shit. I mean, just look at J tech or whatever he does the exact same thing the dude spent like nine hundred dollars on a shitty gaming laptop and expects it to perform as well as a desktop so i don't really feel bad when people make themselves look stupid in situations like this but i just think it's funny they always try to flex the fact that they have a pc but we never hear what specs they have we never hear how much they paid and on top of that you know what are all these graphically demanding games you tried out mind naming one or two just a little curious uh, but of course, I've had a good P gaming PC. Of course, I've always had it. You know what I mean? Like, setting it up just meant that, like, I took my Xbox controller and uh, figured out how to plug it in. That's really all I did. 
Guys, I don't think we should make fun of this man anymore, because in all honesty, he's accomplished something that I never thought the human race as a whole could ever accomplish. This man has figured out how to plug in an Xbox controller to his PC. Like, this is one of those moments that we're all gonna celebrate. In a couple years, we're gonna look back on it and go, wow, dude, I was here, and I got the witness. History in the making. Like, this is one of those moments that makes me proud to be a YouTuber, because I get to share moments like this with you guys on my platform, and overall, man, I'm just really proud of this community. But in all seriousness, how fucking funny would it be if his PC is like seven years old? It's like really outdated at this point, and he just figured out you can just plug in a controller and play video games, and that's why his experience was so shitty. I mean, to be honest, after seeing everything that I've seen over the past couple years doing YouTube, it wouldn't even surprise me at this point. Right, gaming PC. <laughs> Not as good as they like to say. Um, the selection of games is awful. It's all the same stuff that's on Xbox One. Uh, pfft, the Xbox One is more accessible. Uh, it has more, pfft, you know, connects to the TV, things like that. Uh, more memory for games. Um, and I think I think it's the big thing for me that really puts the Xbox One over PC for me is that like it comes out of the box with more memory. Um, um, I mean, shit, dude, if your PC has a small hard drive, then you must hate the fucking Nintendo Switch, dude. What does that have, like, 32 gigabytes? Maybe 25 is usable? So, RIP in that regard. But, I mean, it's almost like you could go out and buy a hard drive and just plug it into your PC. I mean, it couldn't be that easy, right, dude? I mean, you would think this shit's rocket science, just like you can do with an Xbox. I mean, is 500 gigabytes out of the box? Or as he likes to call it, GBs out of the box when it comes to the Xbox so much better than what you can get on PC? Like, I'm gonna have have to press next to down on that shit, but here I am just sitting back on my computer right now with five terabytes of SSDs, just laughing my fucking ass off at this point. Which is why I, which is why I have it, you know what I mean? Like 70 GBs of fucking Tekken 7, a game that really shouldn't be that big. I, I don't know why the Tekken team seems to think that Tekken needs to be 70 GBs large, but whatever. Dude, I have never heard anyone in my entire life say GBs. I've heard gigs, gigabytes, but never fucking GBs. What in the actual fuck, dude? Uh, it's... It's, um, it, it's frustrating. Kind of like getting through this video. Uh... <laughs> uh, very, very underwhelming. Uh, it, it's kind of interesting how quickly I went back to... Nintendo gaming. Dude, I would have never guessed that you would have gone back to Nintendo. I don't know, man. The Nintendo t-shirt with, like, Legend of Zelda. What is it? Link to the Past on it. All those posters you have hanging up on the wall. You know, especially that one of Fire Emblem that doesn't even fit in its frame, dude. I mean, that's a great look, by the way. But I don't think I could have ever figured out that this dude preferred Nintendo. Like, I'm really glad he said something, man. I don't think I would have picked up on that whatsoever. But for real, though, my OCD is getting, like, absolutely fucking triggered looking at that Fire Emblem poster. Because not only does it not fit in the frame it's off centered as well dude like that would actually make me go crazy if i had to look at this shit like every single day but it's your room dude decorate it however you want and i can guarantee you your virginity is well protected um i got shadow of the tomb raider recently for my xbox one that's how much i dislike pc gaming i could have bought rise of the tomb shadow of the tomb raider on sale for like uh what what was it 20 bucks on pc I chose to pay more for the Xbox One version. Um, it, it's kind of, it, it's kind of insane, but. I mean, if I'm being honest, dude, insane sounds about right, but it's your money. I'm not going to shit on you for spending it how you want to, even though you literally admit you paid more to get an inferior experience just because you quote unquote dislike PC gaming that much. But you do you, man. I just think it's really funny that this dude's a Nintendo fanboy because we see this argument from them all the time. Like I've legit seen people say that Doom and The Witcher 3 are the definitive versions on the Nintendo Switch because they're portable. Like the versions of those games on the Switch are better than the PC and console versions because you can take them with you wherever you go and these motherfuckers are so dense that they forget the fucking laptops are a thing but i guess that's not portable enough for them but i mean you just really love to see it dude this is some top tier fanboy logic on display here you know the xbox one is more comfy i i enjoy playing it on more playing on it more. Um, I don't have to worry about the installation. Uh, 100% dude, like it's perfectly fine to install and download games on a console, but the second I have to do it on a PC, fuck that shit. Really at this point, like the only benefit I see to PC gaming, I don't have to pay for Xbox Live, so that's 
that's that's a good thing. I don't have to give Microsoft money. Uh, I'm not giving them money for Game Pass either. That that's that's a scam. All right. First off, how is Game Pass a scam? Like to be honest, it's pretty nice. But anyway, that's beside the point. I don't think he realizes that when you buy games on Xbox, you're giving Microsoft money. Like literally, if you buy every single video game, you're actually giving Microsoft more money versus like subscribing to Game Pass. But I'm not gonna get into that shit, dude. This guy's like a certified big-brained motherfucker. Like when you get right down to it, like. Pfft. I paid more for the PC than I would pay in like, what, 10 years of live? Let's see, it's like $60 a year, like, uh, right? So times 10, 600, yeah, I paid, I paid more for the PC than I did for live. Now I I'm just throwing it out there as somebody who dropped a fuck ton of money on a PC. I never thought to myself, yeah, you know, this PC is definitely a great investment because this is how many years of Xbox Live I don't have to pay for. Like, dude, that never even crossed my mind, but I don't think this guy spent more than a thousand bucks. Like, the way he was doing that math calculation, my guess is between six or seven hundred bucks, and it was probably a shitty laptop. So, you know, well played, dude. You got yourself a real beast of a rig there. No wonder why you don't like PC gaming. But for real, though, I'm like 99% sure he got a fucking laptop dude you can kind of see the reflection in his glasses but i can't really make it out but i mean let's face it he probably got a fucking laptop i, I use the pc for more stuff than just gaming you know what i mean but I, I want to use the pc for that stuff you know what i mean like there's no benefit to pc like despite what you may have been told like the mods paid mods uh not as flexible as they used to be uh they have the same problems uh more so uh, lots and lots of shovelware. That's right, man. PC gaming is completely dead. There is literally no reason to go out and buy a PC. You're better off just getting an Xbox One. You're better off getting a Nintendo Switch or even just playing on your cell phone, dude, at this point. Because at one point, Bethesda tried to do paid mods. You know, it completely ruined the entire PC gaming platform, even though these console fanboys claim that they don't give a shit about mods. So I don't know why paid mods would be a problem to them. But, you know, that's beside the point, okay? PC gaming is completely fucking dead. And at this point, I have more respect for mobile mobile gamers than anyone who plays on PC at this point. And if you have a problem with that statement, get the fuck out of your parents' basement, you PC-loving nerd. It's not superior in any in any way. There's nothing about it that makes it better or more fun or more engaging. Like, no, it's just, it's just blind elitism. And, and I do think this is the case. Uh, PC gamers kind of rely on gamers, uh, console gamers, not knowing anything about PCs to sort of justify their whole elitist attitude, but yeah. I mean, to be fair, dude, people like you and people uploading videos like this make their job a whole lot easier, that's for sure. I mean, how could you not want to make fun of a video this bad? I own a gaming PC, and I can tell you, uh, consoles are superior. There's there's no getting around it. Um, you, you can brag all you want about how you can uh, supposedly emulate every single Nintendo game as soon as they come out, which isn't true, by the way. Uh, I don't even think they have N64 emulators up and running, so you can't even pirate, like, N64 emulators. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. Uh, let alone... Let alone a lot of Wii games, Wii U games, Switch games. Like, really? Really? You're really trying to pretend that you can uh, play Kid Icarus Uprising on a PC? Like, no. I mean, I'm not even going to pretend like I'd even want to if it was possible, but who the fuck's out here like going, yeah, we can emulate every single Nintendo Switch game that's ever released. Like, obviously that's bullshit, so I don't even know why you're giving this shit time of day. Oh wait, you're a fanboy. Never mind. No, you can't. <laughs> Without spending even more money that you could easily have just spent on a console with the actual game and had a better experience with it. Like, you have to jump through so many hoops right in order to uh to steal your content uh, and i do think that's the main reason why um people defend pc so vehemently is that like they can just pirate all the content just throwing it out here dude i've had my pc for two years haven't pirated a single game whatever i don't really care if people do the way i look at it is it's kind of like the used game market when it comes to consoles like developers make zero dollars from a used game just like they make zero dollars from piracy but the only difference of course being that if someone pirates a game there is the possibility they like the game and they go and buy it legitimately through a digital channel versus if somebody buys the game used they're probably not going to go out and buy a brand new copy of the game just to open it up and get the exact same fucking disc over again so 
though, if you really think about it, piracy is kind of more beneficial to developers than the actual used game market, but that's another debate for another time. I just kind of find it very hypocritical. The console fanboys, you know, white knight for developers getting money in their quest against piracy, but have no fucking problem when it comes to used games whatsoever. I don't know, man. I don't want to get all philosophical and start talking about morals and everything, but I mean, it just really is ironic if you actually do think about it. Something console fanboys don't do much of. <laughs> they can just pirate all the content their uh, their piratey little hearts desire, uh, and then complain about Nintendo not providing these games for free on their hardware. I think this is this has contributed greatly to the mindset that like Nintendo Switch Online is not worth it, even though it's phenomenal. It has lots of great games already. I've I mean, to be honest, Nintendo Switch Online is anything but phenomenal, dude. It's one of the worst online services out there. Like, you literally can't even message people. There's no party chat system. You have to exchange friend codes, dude. There's no voice chat in most games. Like, Nintendo Switch Online is a complete fucking joke. And on top of that, like, these SNES and NES games they're giving out for free, you can download most of those games on a fucking calculator at this point and play them, dude. Like, it is not worth paying for like online multiplayer in 2020 there is no excuse for it to be behind a paywall when you literally are buying multiplayer games you are paying for the multiplayer servers when you buy the game like they're just looking to nickel and dime you at every opportunity just to get that extra money out of you dude literally there's no other reason why it's a shitty service 100 that's why it was free when the switch first launched because they knew damn well nobody would fucking pay for that until the switch got more popular i've been playing several uh, I was playing Star Fox this morning, actually. Uh, was it this morning or was it yesterday? Uh, a while back. Yeah, it was this morning. Playing Star Fox, still enjoy it. Still enjoy a lot, actually. I, I'm just... I am so, so... Um, um, it's definitely... Did you guys notice that? Like, this dude's trying to figure out what he's gonna say next. He's trying to complete his thought. That all of a sudden, he gets this look on his face, dude. Like, his brain literally just shuts down. And he's just, like, sitting there for a while, quietly, thinking, like, wait, what the fuck just happened, dude? And then it starts on a completely different fucking topic, bro. Like, that shit's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie, man. I feel like there's something going on here, guys. I don't know what it is, but it could be aliens. I'm just throwing it out there, dude. I watched some ancient aliens the other day. Those motherfuckers might be onto something. I am so, so, um, um, it's definitely one of my goals, uh, in the long run, a sort of established Nintendo as being superior to PC gaming, uh, spoiler, it's because they have better games, um, it's kind of always been my goal to sort of establish that. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. Uh, and uh, I, I do think in the long run that will be proven true. Like Nintendo will just keep getting better and better and PC gaming will get m worse and worse. It will become more restrictive, uh, more and more restrictive. Uh, you can't, we won't be able to get away with this, the stuff you've, you're used to being able to do. Uh, piracy is only going to get more difficult. Uh, you're not going to be able to, uh, to keep up with the industry. More and more subscription fees, more and more microtransactions, the games themselves are going to get worse and worse. And none of this is going to affect Nintendo because why? Do they exist in their own little bubble, dude? They're not affected by the overall gaming industry? Yeah, forgive me as I press X to down on that shit, dude, because as we've seen, Nintendo is definitely moving more towards that. Look at all their mobile games loaded with microtransactions. Look at their online multiplayer fees. I mean, they're kind of getting up there, dude. Just wait a couple more years. They'll be just as bad as the rest of them. Um, PC gamers are basically the, uh, the boomers, right, of the, of the gaming community. Like, they're so convinced, right, that their way is better. Like, they're better than you, and they're just not. Like, when you get right down to it, um, they're just a bunch of nerds. Is this dude really gonna fucking unironically call people nerds while wearing a fucking Legend of Zelda t-shirt with a bunch of Nintendo posters on his wall, dude? I'm just throwing it out here, dude. I have never seen a normal human being wearing a Legend of Zelda t-shirt. Like, either the people wearing that shit are, like, morbidly obese, or they look like they sell their body on the corner for crack, okay? I'm just throwing it out there, dude. Maybe it's just my experience, but I've never seen a normal human being wearing a Legend of Zelda t-shirt. Like, typically, it's the most disgusting human beings you can think of, but, you know, I I just think the irony of this dude actually calling other people nerds is fucking gold. Who have to pretend that they're better than you 
in order to feel better about themselves. That's in the end, that's all the PC Master Race is. I mean, dude, I'm gonna keep it real. If I have to pretend to be cool when I'm comparing myself to people like you, I really don't have to pretend that hard. But anyway, guys, you know, that's gonna do it for this video today. I feel like it was a very eye-opening experience. It really changed my opinion on PC gaming. I definitely think PC gaming is dead. The Nintendo Switch is the future. The Xbox One is the future. The PlayStation 4 is the future, even though the new consoles are about to come out. But that's beside the point, dude. PC gaming is fucking dead. There's no point in even talking about it anymore. Move on with your lives. Get excited for the new consoles and just consume, okay? That's all you have to do to be happy in life. And one day, you can be like this absolute legend. But anyway, guys, you know, that's gonna do it for this video today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video and for all the recent support. Like, the channel has been doing insanely well recently. And I really just appreciate the fuck out of everybody who watches these videos. You guys are the absolute best. And overall, this has been a lot of fun recently. So thank Thanks a lot for all the support, guys. And yeah, that's enough sentimental shit at the end of this video. I'll catch you guys next time.